Now, uh, ORA that's used when packet vis visibility is required from a single user or a server point of view. So, it, so uh, a client recently told me how they found why a new application wasn't working. They installed ORA on an application server, and then when they examined the captured packets, they were able to see that the first application byte wasn't the application wasn't what the application was expecting. Uh, the server was ignoring really the application request, and um, you know trying to mine these packets out across the network wasn't easy. So using ORA and and uh, focusing directly on the uh, adapter card in the server that these packets were arriving on allowed them to uh, quickly resolve this problem. And then there's a key ORA feature that uh, we like to talk about because uh, the, the packets that are collected remotely are really encrypted in a uh, packet file. So when this uh, packet file is transmitted across the network to you, the uh, uh, network analysis uh, piece of it, uh, it's encrypted and you are you only have the keys to decrypt it. Um, so you being the OmniPeak Enterprise user that generated the RA project. So uh, this decryption key can be shared by the user uh, so other OmniPeak users can uh, examine this file. To demonstrate ORA, I would come back to OmniPeak here and go up to the uh, tools area options and select ORA groups. Okay, so in this ORA group selection, I have already created a new ORA group and it came up as a default name, ORA1. Okay, there's other things here on the right that I can do with ORA. You know, I can delete it, of course. The edit button is just changing the name from ORA1 to something else. Now the export and import, these are the ways that uh, I share the encryption key with other OmniPeak users. So of course I would export the encryption key out and then I would import other OmniPeak users keys that uh, ran an ORA project. So what you would do is when you create a new ORA group, the system would create a zip file. That file you would either email to the remote user who you wanted to run uh, ORA on or you would uh, you know go to a server and place it on the server that you uh, needed ORA and you would have to extract really all the files. So I extracted or this is what you'll see then when you click on the OmniPeak Remote Assistant application, you're going to have to extract them, and here they are extracted. Okay, so the end user then would click on the application OmniPeak Remote Assistant. I'm going to do that. I'm run it. Okay, it's pretty simple for the end user, and it's meant to be. It's uh, because you're not there. The end user could be an inexperienced uh, network person. You know, it could be virtually anyone out there. And uh, to, to get the thing uh, ORA to run and capture packets under device is as simple as selecting one of their network interfaces. The network interfaces that you're seeing here are the ones that are on my laptop. So I'm going to select, it's already pre-selected for me, the wireless network connection. So I'm going to select it. I can change the path. I'm not going to where uh, the packets are going to be saved and file sizes that would be by default 100 megabits. So you click start and you can see already I'm receiving packets on my wireless network connection when I feel like I have enough packets or when it's 100 megabits fills, it will just be a first in first out there. I stop it. And then if I go back to where my path was to save the files, it saved it here and here it is right here. So here's the uh, packet file it saved. This is an encrypted file. 
the end user then would grab, uh, open an email, attach that packet file to it, and send it to you, the OmniPeak user who created the ORA group, because they're the only one that can open it and, and read it with the uh, encryption keys. So it's that easy, then they would open it up and start to, to troubleshoot um, the, the problem. Uh, and this webinar really isn't directed to using OmniPeak or troubleshooting, but um, I, I hope most of you know how to do that. If you don't, I'm sure you can call us up and uh, we can help you out with that.